with that being said, I'm only going to do one of my eyes on camera, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera later just to save time. So ignore my horrible eyebrows. If you watch my other video, you heard about how I accidentally shaved um, part of my eyebrow off and ignore my horrible nails. As you know, we're in quarantine, so I'm not able to get them fixed. So um, normally I would do my eyebrows first before I do my eyes, but just for the sake of doing this video in less time, I'm just gonna go right and jump into my eyes. Now it is, the main reason I do my eyebrows first is because it kind of frames your face, not just your face, but your eyes. So you, it just helps you, it helps guide you where you wanna put your eyeshadow. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do it without. So today for the eye look, the palette I'm going to use, I just got in the mail. And yes, I'm a little behind. I know this came out a little bit ago, but I am joining the club late. It is the new, Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. So let's I have let's open this. Let's see. And she's on the back. So ooh, it's pretty and white. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years, this one's for you. Volume 2. XO Jaclyn Hill. Cute. So take my little paper. So these are the colors. They're super, super bright and beautiful and so I wanted to show you a couple things first may, um, for eyeshadow primer these are the main one the main products that I use for eyeshadow primer so I'm going to talk about a couple different things and where you can get them first so first off um, we'll start off with the drugstore eyeshadow primer the best drugstore eyeshadow primer that I would say is out there is this Milani one um, it does come out kind of like a skin tone color so it does have some pigment to it. I'm not gonna use that one today, but that is one of the ones that I, it was actually the first one I've ever used. So the next one that you can find in the drugstore is NYX, and I don't know if you can read that. It just says NYX Professional Makeup, and it says eyeshadow base. So it's called a base, not a primer, but it does the same thing. So this one, it's like a little pod and it's a cream, but this one is more of a pearly white color. I do believe they have more shades, so you could get a different shade if you want. I just prefer that one. Um, and then this one you can get on Ulta, Sephora, or Urban Decay's website. I'm sure there's other websites you can find it on. Um, but this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is an eyeshadow base. This is a sample size, so it's smaller. Um, and this is is a is a very good one. I use this one quite a bit. And then last but not least, this is not actually an eyeshadow primer. This is a concealer. This is the FX Power Play Concealer. And now when I use concealer, obviously I use one that's my skin tone or a little bit lighter. This is pure white. And I use this specifically for certain eye looks that are more extreme. If I'm just doing regular eyeshadow, I use a regular eyeshadow base. But if I'm gonna like do a cut crease or a halo or any sort of like dramatic effect, I use this because it gives me, it's white, so it, it's a great base. So I'm going to start, well, and then the other thing I want to show you is the brushes I use mainly. So for eyeshadow, I got this set of Real Techniques brushes. There's four of them. There is the Crease Prep Brush, which is like the first um, thing you do. Well, it's not the first thing you do, but it's the first part you do in your crease. Then there is the Deluxe Crease Brush, which I would use after that. And then there's the Defining Crease Brush, 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 blah, 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 brush which is longer, so it gets right in the in there. So it's like the last color I do, the darker one. So it, it gives you the good gradient effect. And then this one is the base shadow brush. So this I did this in total backwards order, but this is the very first brush you would use to just kind of do the base of your shadow. Then I got this little pack of rainbow brushes um, the other day from Moda Brushes, M-O-D-A. And I thought they were so pretty, but I wasn't sure to the quality of them, but they're actually pretty good. So... There's a little eyebrow brush, and then there's a little spoolie on the end of that one. Then we have the shader eyeshadow brush. We have the crease brush. We have the detail brush, which is it's basically a pencil brush. And then we have this really skinny brush for like fine line, fine eyeliner or details. Um, I like to use it to do designs. And then this brush I've never seen before. This is called a glam topper. I don't know if you can see that glam topper so it's got like this little silicone top and you like put it in like you know press pigments or press glitter and put it on and it it's almost works like a fingertip so that's kind of cool 
So anyways, we're going to start with the eyeshadow base. I am going to use the Urban um, Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion um, for the base of my eye. And this I usually use my fingers for. Once I'm through the step a little more, I will use um, the brush when I'm doing the next step. But So first I do that. Then I'm going to go and pick my color. So... I'm going to do more of a red look, but you always have to want to start with a transition color. So I'm going to use this color up here. It's called Perfectionist. Sorry, you can't really see, but Perfectionist. And I always tap my brush off before applying just because you don't want too much product. It's always good to add more than add too much and then be screwed. And you can't really take off eyeshadow, but you can always add more. So... As you can see, it barely even shows up um, because I only use so much. And I'm going to put this basically all over my eye. But I'm focusing it mainly in my crease and above my crease. Because that's going to give a good background to my eyeshadow. So it doesn't go skin, pow, big bright color. So this is kind of, it's my transition shade. And when you pick a transition shade, you always want to go a tone that's a little bit darker than your skin color. At least that's what I've always done. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick one that's a little bit darker. This one's, the shade is called Thick Skin, and it's only a little bit darker. And I'm going to go kind of in that same area. And I'm going to do um, windshield wiper motions, and then after I do windshield wiper motions, I kind of go in little circles, and then I go back to windshield wiper motions. So if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm basically going like this, and then I'm swirling, and then back to this. So... Once that's on, I'm going to use my crease brush, and I'm going to pick up this one down here that says live in my best. Actually, no, I'm going to do heart on. Let's start with heart on. And I'm going to pick up some of that color, tap my brush off, and I'm going to go back in with this color. Eyeshadow, or windshield wipers then circles, then windshield wipers, and now it looks like I have a black eye. Um, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that color, and I'm going to put that on. I also like these brushes, if you have a clean one, after you do your look, to kind of take it and buff out the color because it really blends it, and these are dense, so I they're really nice because they're not just fluffy, they're dense. So... Next, I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm going to go into Live In My Best, which is a little bit darker. I'm going to tap that brush off. I'm going to get back in there, but I'm going to really tip my head so I can really see where I'm getting this because I want it to be in my crease, but I don't want it to go up as high as the other one did. And I'm going to take this clean brush and kind of buff this out a little bit so it blends better. Excuse the weird faces that I make when I do my makeup. So, next I'm going to do... Oh, huh, how funny. This color I'm going to use is called Next. And I'm using this more defined crease brush for this. And once again, I'm going to tilt my head back. And I'm going to sweep it on. And windshield wipers, circles, windshield wipers. And then I'm going to pick up a little more of that. Same motions. Boop, 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 boop. Now I'm going to pick up the color crazy because I'm crazy. So once I have that done, I'm going to go and take a clean brush again, and I'm going to buff this out again, which is just kind of doing the same motions, the sweep, 
and the twirling. And as you can see, there's this space bear, but that's okay. And all this that's down here, that's okay too, because it's going to get, when I would put my foundation on, I take concealer and I cover that right up so it's a nice crisp line. So ignore that for this video. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the Cover FX white um, concealer and it has this little ball on the end and I'm just going to dab it right on my eye. And what I do to know where to do the crease is I open my eye and when I shut my eye it goes to the highest point. So that once I know where that highest point is I take my concealer brush and I will blend this out. And yes, I'm making one of those faces that people make when they do mascara. If I try not to do the face, I mess up my makeup every time. Okay, so once that's done, basically now it looks like light pink because I put white on top of red. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush again, and now I'm going to use a more bright color. I'm going to try this Tipsy Girl which is like a neon neon pink and I'm gonna tap it off and then I'm gonna go in again but I'm not gonna go all the I'm not gonna cover all of this white part and that's not as dark as I want it to be so I'm gonna try using dance party I'm liking the dance party better. Okay, so once you have that on, you can see where your thing was just a little bit. So, excuse me for a second. I'm going to get... This Warrant Beauty um, Glitter Eyeliner. Now, typically, I would use a better product because this is older than I would like to be using on my eyes. But right now, it's all I have. So before I do this, I just want to say you have to let it dry because if you blink before letting it dry, it's going to smear everywhere. And I didn't know that the first time I did that. Or I guess I, I knew it, but I didn't think about it. So I blinked and I ruined the look and I was so mad. So we're going to follow this white line with glitter. And after I do this, talking to you guys, I'm probably going to mess it up because I'm going to blink when I talk. So once I do this, I'm literally going to just hit off. So if I just end the video without saying bye, that's why. <laughs> so I'm not a pro, needless to say. So I want to be in the camera for you guys to see, but I also need to be at my mirror. So hold on just a second. So this takes a really steady hand. And I'm not somebody with steady hands oh my god I almost blinked I almost blinked uh, I'm trying to hold it all still and perfect so this is what it ends up looking like and it looks really cool once you have, if you put falsies on, because your eyes are really, like, super black lashes. And I'm not going to go and do all of this, but sorry, I'm trying to not look at what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get some concealer <laughs> so I can fix this up. The face is so it re reminds me to keep my eyes open. So 
So, as you can see, I'm not doing my full face, and I'm not doing it that well. I'm literally only zooming in on this little area so that when I take a picture, it's not going to be all yucky. So, I'm going to end this here so that I can finish this off camera. But this is how you do that look. And I know it might look weird now, but once you have both eyes done and you have your eyebrows done and you have your full face and your lashes, it looks pretty banging. So I highly recommend trying it out. Thanks, guys. I hope you like this. Hit subscribe and hit your notification button so you can be notified of any future uploads I post. Take care. Bye.